thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I have just gotten a very special package in the mail, shipped all the way from Loudwater High Wycombe United Kingdom from Robot Rocket Miniatures. Been waiting for this for almost two months, ordered it just prior to Christmas, and just received it in the mail this week. Um, very excited. Never done any models like this. These are busts. Um, can't wait to get it open and see what they look like. But these are busts from Robot, Robot Rocket Miniatures that I saw, I think, on Instagram and completely fell in love with them. Had to wait for the second round of pre-ordering to come through on the, on the bust that I really liked the most. And while I was on their site, I saw another one that was coming back up for a second round of pre-ordering. So I ordered both of them, had them shipped together, save on shipping. And uh, just got them. So let's open them up and see what they look like. All right. First one. Oh, that's interesting. Neat little robot rocket case there, little box. See their little emblem. And on the back side is the model, the bust. That's Eva. She's from the Evo Punk line from Robot Rocket. She's a 111th scale bust. And when I pre ordered these, I was, well, was and still am kind of really in love with the whole cyberpunk genre of movies. And there's new RPGs and video games coming out. Big fan of movies like Blade Runner and Akira anime. Just love this stuff, love this style. And these busts just captured my imagination. I could not wait to see what these looked like and to give them a try. Because again, I've never done a bust before. I've done scale modeling and miniature painting, but I've never done a bust. So I had to order both of these because I just loved both of them. All right, we'll set that over there. And this was the one, the first pictures I saw on Instagram. It was the coolest thing I'd ever seen in terms of a bust or a cyberpunk model. It was so cool. Oh, look at that. We got some extra goodies here. We got a Robot Rocket Miniatures sticker. Pretty cool. And this is the, looks like the concept art from the EVA model. Robot Rocket card. It's got EVA there. Do a little side-by-side -side comparison. I do believe the bust sculpt and artwork is much more attractive than the concept art. The bust is much nicer looking. All right, but this one right here, same robot rocket box, super cool. But this lock and load, it's a little bit bigger scale. It's a 1-9 bust. Another one in their Evo Punk, Cyberpunk line. And just look at that. That is one of the coolest things. We've got a Cyberpunk chick. She's got some, some biometric mechanical body parts, some tubes going into her body. She's got a relatively common weapon there. It doesn't look too futuristic. It looks like your basic... AR platform kind of a weapon, but she's got the awesome hair style there with the half shaved and the braids and the you know, sleeve of tattoos, just super cool. So let's get these open and see how they look. Starting with Eva, All right, let's flip her over, get her out of the box. A nice foam insert there. Protecting it. Okay, here we go. That's her coat. Looks like her body slides into the coat. That's neat. There's, there's her lower torso. There's the some of the biometric pieces that she has on her. Oh boy. Look at this. We've got 
two different head options in there. We've got her unhelmeted and then kind of a cyber helmeted head. That's interesting. Wow, there's some small pieces in here. We've got little straps. Yes, tiny pieces. Look at that. Little straps. There's the second head. Tough to kind of see that. Really no recognizable, it's just a helmet that fits over, let's kind of see her chin below there, but everything else is very uh, helmeted. Put that there. There's her bust. And there's her unhelmeted head, looking very nice there. Of her gun kind of reminds me of a pulse rifle from the movie Aliens. Pretty cool. Got two arm pieces here, and then a whole bunch of tiny bits that I'm just going to put back in the bag because we're talking little straps, Tiny little strap pieces there. Another tiny little strap piece here. Tiny little bits. We don't want to lose these. Another like buckles for her coat, looks like. Get those back in there before I lose them. All right. Again, there's that helmeted head. Neat piece. There's her unhelmeted, gorgeous sculpt on that. Super clean, super nice resin. Her rifle, her arms. All right, let's get her back in her box here. All right, now to open this one up, lock and load. Let's see what she looks like. Just from the sound of this box, I can tell there's little pieces rattling around in there, too. Hopefully everything came out okay. Oh, yes, a bigger scale, definitely. Wow. Just the 1 11th to the 1 9th is a much bigger... Okay. So there's her weapon. Yeah, it looks, again, just kind of an AR style rifle. Set that there. Let's get her. Oh, that's just beautiful. So cool. Even got little nose piercing there. Everything looks very clean. Looks to be in good shape. Yeah, what I heard rattling around in there was this just looks like a piece of flashing that has come off so nothing nothing to worry about there let's see what else we have in the bag there's her cyber arm with all the hoses and mechanicals and servos and things yeah it looks like that's the piece right there that's going to require some sanding and some cutting just gorgeous though. So cool. Let's see what we have. There's her other arm. And then these are neat. I've seen some people do paints of these already, and they have done some really neat stuff with this, the arm sleeve tattoos. Super cool stuff. Looking forward to this. It's gonna be quite a challenge for me. I've never done anything this big, this big scale. So I'm going to have to up my game. That's super cool. Walkie-talkie comms unit kind of a thing. There is the buttstock of her rifle. Very, very cool. And her other 
hand, which is holding some dog tags. Super cool. Super cool. Dog tags, and again, more biometric body pieces. Super neat. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys, for tuning into this unboxing videos. I'm super excited to get working on these. When I do, I'll do some update photos, post them to my Instagram and my Facebook page that you can follow me at JSoloArts on Instagram, JSoloArts with a capital J on Facebook. And if you like this video, you like this con content, please subscribe, like, post a comment if you have any questions or uh, critiques of what I'm doing here. And uh, really, really pleased to get these models so excited, almost intimidated to get them get started painting on them, but that's why you do these projects to improve your skills. You challenge yourself, so I'm very excited for that. Again, thanks so much, guys. We'll see you guys later.